wow it is just like cold wet gloomy and rainy out today and i need to go get gas i just y'all ever just wake up and you're like oh i feel like spending money today <laughs> i was gonna place an order online on pretty little thing but girl my cart was like five hundred dollars i'm like let me just go to zara and see what they have one i kind of want to see what's out for fall two i really need a jacket with this weather like i'm sorry i'm wearing a flannel like this is about as warm as it's gonna get for your girl and i need to get like boots like just the fall basics like leather pants sweaters long sleeve tops a good pair of jeans maybe like a cute pair of like heels definitely want to get like earthy tones when it comes to like the palette you know neutral shades the creams the beiges basically just thicker warmer clothes for this weather that we're in right now and i don't even know if i can try things on in the dressing room which is a little bit annoying because like i have to try on at least my bottoms the jackets whatever it's fine tops i can kind of eyeball but i have to try on the jeans and like the pants so we're gonna have to go see how that is at least we're going to go to tyson's today but i need to get gas first and i know with this weather it's probably gonna take a while to get up there let's see how long Ooh, i know that didn't say 50 minutes <laughs> coastal flood warning that's why it's storming so much am i risking my life right now for zara am i mad about that i don't know we're gonna drive really slow are my lights on all right let me go get some gas and i guess i'll see you guys at the mall and prayers go up that i can try on some clothes i'm also gonna put on some perfume this is the Valentino. My friend got this for me for my birthday. And it's so nice. It's like a sweet, warm scent. Perfect for fall time. Just waiting for my tank to fill up right now. I'm debating whether or not I should run and get um, like a Starbucks coffee or something. Shoot, I'm gonna be in the car for an hour. <laughs> I think I might do that. Why not have a cozy day? Today I have my Angela Roy Grace crossbody. This is my favorite for fall time. It's officially fall when this bag is out. And you guys have known that I've had this for a minute. It's a little wet from the rain, but it's vegan pebbled leather. I also have an additional strap that's longer and more adjustable for the side of it so i love this it's a great size for everything like i literally have a full-size perfume in here i have my camera in here my phone fits in here my keys all that good stuff and your hands free and it comes in so many beautiful shades like i know they have a really pretty like olive tone one and like a burgundy that was quick so definitely check those out the links are down below for all of the bags that i have sanitize your hands too guys I don't even own an umbrella. <laughs> I have not owned an umbrella. Oh my god, for like nine years. <laughs> I just take it at this point. I think I'm just gonna go straight to the mall. Because there's probably just a Starbucks there. And with this weather, I'm sure the drive through is gonna be insane. And that's kind of out of my way. Um, and it's windy, y'all. Why is it when I decide to leave my house, it's crazy freaking flash flood warning? That was a freaking mission, but your girl, we made it. I was worried for a second because there was so much kickback from other cars and it was just like a cloudy mess. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, is it really worth it to be out here to go to the mall? Mm, I don't know, but um, I'm gonna sprint through the Bloomingdale's entrance. And hopefully by the time I finish up here, the rain will calm down, but girl, I don't know because it's a flash flood warning, but I'm craving because I need to eat. It's 10.30, so I know for sure I'm going to be hungry. I'm craving, like, kale, like a kale salad, vegetables, very healthy, you know, something crunchy. So I think there's a sweet green 
in this mall, which would be perfect because I can just grab food on the way out. Um, I still want a coffee though. I can't figure out where, first of all, they're not open yet. Oh, they open up in 30 minutes. Oh, Tyson's Galleria level one per. So I'm gonna go to, wait, 11 o'clock? Does the mall open at 11? Don't tell me the mall opens at 11. Don't tell me that. Oh no, they're open at 10. Cause I know I didn't go to Pentagon because they opened at 11. I'm like, that's really late for a mall. Anyway, I'm gonna go and see what they have in store and maybe I'll do like a little bit of a shop with me. And if I can, in the dressing room, I can try some stuff on for you guys and see what cute stuff they have out. Bro, I'm so freaking confused. Bloomingdale's is locked. It says online it doesn't open till 11. And I got VIP parking, so I'm honestly not really trying to leave right now. Is it just this entrance? Oh, Jesus. It's a miracle, y'all. I made it. <laughs> just, I think Bloomingdale's isn't open. I need to find a map. I think it's touchscreen. Figure out where the heck I need to go. I'm sorry, I just sprinted. Let me let me figure this out and I'll see you guys. So I got these jeans in a four, which I'm wearing. Oh my god, these boots. Okay. Um, I got a six as well, which I'm gonna try on. They're a little tight, but I really like this like slim flare fit. Definitely getting these boots. So cute. So this one's a little too loose. Mm. I don't really know, so I didn't want to spend 
more than 100 on that, but I got some basics, lots of tops, cute little pair of shoes. And I'm gonna go find the sweet green. I was gonna go to um, Starbucks, but I didn't wanna carry a drink all around, and I can't drink it because I have a mask, so. Go see if I can get some salad. And then we'll get out of here. I could not find sweet green at all. And I was just tired of walking around the mall. I was gonna also go to Starbucks, but the girl is raining. I just wanna get to my hood and not be in this traffic. Oh, hell no. I have no idea where I am. Oh, 495. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel really good. Like, I got some super cute things. I'm nowhere near done with my fall shopping, but I'm actually happy I went to Zara because I haven't been there in a minute. Um, I still want to get some stuff from, like, Pretty Little Thing, but it was so nice being able to try things on. So I think I might go back to Zara next week or maybe go to a different location because they all have different, you know, items and stuff. I'm so happy I made it home y'all. I've been in the car for two hours Make sure I get all my stuff so I can just bolt Ghetto, okay, so the first thing I did was turn the freaking oven on because I need to eat food So I'm gonna have um, a vegan pizza from Trader's for all this bag came in clutch today, too because it's not gonna get damaged from the rain and stuff. So I'm in the mood for like a chai latte. It just seems very fitting. I'm trying to have like a chill rest of the day today. So I just have some crushed ice and then I have picked up some more of my favorite tea concentrate that you guys know I love. I haven't tried this hot yet. And I actually want to, not today obviously, but next time I make it, I'm gonna try a hot and see if I like it better, cause it'd be more cozy vibes with this crazy storm that we have going on today, so. I haven't decided if I wanna work out. I just, look, I've been driving for two hours, like, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't like to drive, that's one thing about me. Like, 30 minutes is 30 minutes too far. So, I'm just happy I made it home in one piece because there were some crazy accident i saw a car like i guess they skid and like i'm going this way that car skid so bad the car was facing the opposite direction so that was a little bit crazy i hope they are okay <gasps> oh my gosh you guys i love chai this is exactly what i needed i did not need to go to starbucks today anyway so I'm going to attempt to go take the pups out really quick and um, throw my pizza in the oven, change out of these jeans, and then I'll come back and probably show you guys some of the things that I got from Zara today. I was going to wait to film like a whole video. Oh, I'm like, what is this? I was going to wait to film a whole video, but why not just show you guys today what I got in case you guys see something that you like from this video. You can go check it out and see if your store has it. They had so many cute like bags. And I wanted to get a few, but I was like, oh, do I need them? I don't know, I have so many here. But maybe the next run that I do, cause there's still some essentials that I couldn't really get my hands on that I was looking for, like sweaters. I couldn't find any cute like sweaters and again, a jacket. I really need to get pri high priority as a jacket. So I don't know if I'm gonna go back out this weekend cause I don't do the weekends at the mall. Okay, I don't do that. Y'all wanna go out into the rain? Y'all gotta be quick, quick. You hear me? Quick, quick. I know as soon as I open this door, he's gonna be like, no. <laughs> he wouldn't even stick his head out there. Bailey, get inside. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I'm gonna attempt to take him out. 
Come on, y'all, let's go. Let go. Not my Yeezys getting all nasty. Ooh, the oven's ready. We love this. All right, perfect timing. Oh yeah, I think it's definitely time for some marshmallow fireside. You guys, all the Christmas stuff is out already. Everywhere. Like, I love it, but I just can't believe it. Like, are we really about to be in December sooner than we know? I don't know. But I'm here for it. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I am back. She has changed. Got my chai. I'm going to give you guys a quick, quick, quick Zara haul just because my pizza's in the oven. And I'm so hungry. I cannot wait to have like a cozy day. I wanna watch you and finish that. I binged on my block and finished. I think I watched like 13 episodes yesterday. It was a great day, I'm not complaining. So here's my bag from Zara. I also changed my outfit, yes, into a cozy set. You guys saw my fall haul. I'll pop it in the cards for you guys. Got some really cute pieces. This one has like a crop top to it and some shorts aka it's a skims dupe so don't be asleep on that um i really like this set a lot so at sara i spent 264 dollars which i don't think that's that bad because i got a pair of shoes and the shoes were 80 dollars alone so i don't know i definitely want to go back to zara because like i said my main point like how do i go to get a jacket and i don't even get a jacket I don't know, I just need to go look at like some inspo, fall inspo, and see what kind of style jacket, because I don't need to get like five jackets. <laughs> That's unnecessary, I just don't have the space for it. Um, but what I did get was just a lot of basic wardrobe essentials that can easily be mixed and matched with other items. So this first piece, I really, really love this. You guys know if I like something, I get it in a bunch of different colors. So this is like a mock neck ribbed cutoff stretchy the size for this i got was an extra small small and it was only twelve dollars and ninety cents like their basics are really well priced and i like going to zara for items like this because you can wear them a million times this for sure is going to be a layering piece because it's going to get really cold here so i thought this would be good to kind of wear underneath like a cardigan or something and i also got it in this beautiful like oatmeal color I don't know. I love these neutral shades. I'm trying not to have just a wardrobe full of black items. And I definitely like these lighter tones, the creamier, earthier shades, the nudes. And mm, not so much gray, but I don't know, just like earthy tones. That's just very much so the way that I'm trying to go with my style. And these basics, like you can't go wrong. They're super stretchy and very soft. So I think these are going to be a favorite of mine for sure. And they had a bunch of other colors to choose from. I didn't try those on though because I was just too lazy and I had makeup on and I just didn't want to deal with that. I also snagged this bodysuit in this beautiful shade. This is giving me skims, right? It has like a nice slight slinky material to it i think this color oh don't look at my nails they need to be honestly i need to take them off today um but i think this is so pretty on my skin tone and for the fall and winter so nice and it has like a thong bottom to get into it i also did not try this one on and it just has two buttons to get into it and the size i got was a small so i'm sure it's gonna fit i think this is just great for just pants you know cute top some pants and like these colors together like this is like the wardrobe palette i'm trying to go for so really excited about that um i also snagged this top which i think i got a try on clip for you guys this was 25 dollars. i also got it in a size small this is about as crazy as i'll get when it comes to a print i don't know what it is i just don't really love loud things but this has brown and black in it and i really like brown and black together it also is a cropped style with little like cutout details along the front and you can cinch it as well at the front to kind of create a shorter look so i thought this would be fun to pair with leather pants jeans a bunch of different things 
Speaking of jeans, these were the jeans I tried on. This is a size four, the six. I don't know what was up with the six. It was like way too big in the waist and like saggy in the booty. Like it just wasn't giving. These are a little tight. Granted, I'm trying to gain weight. So after this season, I probably won't be able to wear them again. Um, but I do feel like Zara has some really good denim options. So these were $45.90. And I really liked the wash of these. I don't know what it was with like the fading of the bum, but it made my bum look really nice. Um, I guess they have a little bit of stretch, nothing crazy, but I do like the slit detail. I think you could have seen better on the try on. They're slit. It's like a slim flare. What do they call it? Like a slim flare? Yeah, slim flare, high rise, slim flare, full length split, comfort that's their description um of their jeans if you're looking for them so i really like this like flare look i think it's very cute and it looked even better with these boots that i got which i also showed you guys and you know what i must be getting grown or something i must have found my sexy you know this year which is what i wanted to do because who is this girl <laughs> Old Kayla could never stunt in these streets with a heel this skinny. Granted, it is a boot, so I feel more comfortable with the ankle support. Okay, because I'm not trying to roll my ankle in these streets. <laughs> I need something like this. Like, something slim and sexy, not too bulky and boxy like I'm used to wearing. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. But I love how long the toe box is and how like squared off it is. Oh my gosh, it made my legs look just so long for days. And it is a sock boot style. Oh, my pizza. That's okay. Um, I'll give it another three minutes to get a little crispy. Um, but I love a good sock boot and the fact that this goes up so high, it's not going to cut off my legs. Uh, but this I think, because I wanted to find like a sweater dress in like a cream color or like a, a brown, I thought these would be so cute mentally in my mind. So that's why I want to go back to Zara to get some more basics um, and like a leather jacket, like just so many essentials that I just don't have here in Virginia. So I love these. They were $80. Do I think it's worth it? Um, I don't know. You could definitely get the same thing or something similar on Pretty Little Thing, but I don't know. Maybe the quality is better. I'm going to just tell myself that. These pants, you really couldn't tell in the try-on when I was in the dressing room because it was just so dark in there, uh, but everybody will these for me. Like, I love leather pants, full leather pants. So these were $45.90. I got them in a U.S. size 4 and they have so many fun styles i definitely want to go and try on more because i just didn't have the time like my hands were so full like why don't they have shopping bags in the store i don't understand so regardless this was one of the pairs that i tried on and they actually fit so nice i might have to actually take them in to get tailored in the waist a little bit but other than that they fit so nice they have a bit of stretch to them which is nice for my quads and they have like a nice slit detail and I wouldn't say like a flared look, maybe just like a straight leg, but they're so buttery soft. It's a little bit of a stuffing there, but I don't know. This with like a basic bodysuit or a crop top, you can wear it with sneakers, throw it on with heels, some boots. Like, I don't know. Like, I know I'm going to get my use out of these and they're much better quality than ones that I've picked up from, you know, like misguided or like pretty little thing. And I don't think $45 is that much. So, those are my fall pickups. Lots of neutrals. I'm over here taking my time as if my pizza isn't ready for me. But I'm really excited. I think this is a great start to my fall wardrobe. I still need to get like black boots, like just so many things. So, stay tuned. Thumbs up if you guys like seeing like the fashion y stuff. And um, if you want me to do like a part two. Where have you been all day? Clearly just laying there. I swear he's a cat, y'all. He's crazy. Okay, so my pizza's done. I was meant to put it on the top shelf so that the cheese would melt a little better because y'all know this is a vegan cheese. doesn't really melt that great, so. Put it at the top for 10 seconds. But how cute is this outfit? I'm telling you guys, Skims dupes. Come on, come on, Skims dupes, super cute and cozy too, so. 
I am just going to eat my pizza. I was supposed to record, but I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I keep saying, oh, I'll record the video tomorrow, and then it's tomorrow, and then, girl. things i want a grilled cheese sandwich right now i want some chicken nuggets about to eat this pizza i'm gonna get my seasonings for my pizza don't tell me i ran out what the heck oh no this can't be oh here it is it's about to stay i like to put 21 salu some garlic powder. Oh, and onion salt, which I can't find. Where is all my spices? A catastrophe. What's the word? Contrast. Oh my god, I'm embarrassing myself. Onion salt. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. That's not the word. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Catastrophe. You know like when you say something so many times and you it just doesn't sound right? That's how I feel right now. Oh my god, someone's gonna come for me in the comments. Alright y'all, here's my pizza. Looks amazing. Vegan deliciousness. So it doesn't have a lot of flavor, which is why I like to um, add these. I usually put this on when I cook it, like before I put it in. But you guys, I was so hungry, I just put the thing in there. This one right here, you have to get this. It's like Italian uh, spices. Catastrophe, that wasn't it. What the heck? It's on the tip of my tongue. Ooh, she's a little crispy today. Okay. Definitely too hot to eat right now. It's gonna burn the roof of my mouth. So I'm gonna have to let that cool down a bit. Catastrophe. Oh, we got it. Finally, a catastrophe. Nah, that doesn't sound right. Oh my god, I'm gonna drive myself nuts. Alexa, define catastrophe. <laughs> catastrophe is usually defined as a sudden and widespread disaster. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for catastrophe. I said it right, catastrophe. Why does it sound so weird when I say it? Bro, am I going crazy? <laughs> Catastrophe. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. But I just took a photo for the thumbnail of this video, and I actually want to show you how I do my hair. I don't know if you can see. All my curly girls, my thick curly girls. How you can style. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how you can style your curls in a cute updo and if you like the claw clips i know it's super trendy right now bringing us back to the 90s i love it um i'll link some of my favorites down below that you guys can get and i'll put some on my amazon store um this one i got sent in pr but i've seen some similar ones uh but i have super thick curly hair and this isn't even like the biggest size that you can pick up um and this morning like, my hair was just not looking good, so I'm like, let me just put a claw clip on it, call it a look. So, I have kind of, like, layers in my curls, so sometimes if I go for a bun, pieces will just pop out of the band and it doesn't stay, you know, neatly tucked away. So, this was, like, the base of my bun, and I literally just clipped the claw over it. I'm going to show you how I did this, and really, I need to take out this hair tie because I have two um, hair bands and that's just a little bit too tight for me but I got thick hair you guys so I need to 
okay so basically um if you want like a sleek look this morning i just wet my edges and i did wet like my curls because they're very um well they were a little bit frizzy so i wanted to put some curling cream in which i just used a little bit of the multicultural from miss jessie's just to hydrate them and i placed it in like a pretty low bun and you can use Gorilla Snot. That's what I used this morning. That's my favorite type of gel. So a pretty low placement or wherever you want, honestly. But since it's going to be flipped up, it looks better when it's a little bit lower. So I don't know if you guys can see with the lighting, but I basically just flipped my hair in a bun with the curls facing upward like that. Looks pretty messy. So I just took the claw clip and kind of just clipped the base of that messy button so the curls were kind of coming out of the top. Bam, that's it, that's all. That's literally what I did. If you wanna do edges, you can do that too. But I thought I would show you guys because I really liked how the picture looked in the thumbnail of this video and I didn't know if anyone was gonna ask me how I did it. But that's how your girl did it. So it is 2.30 and I'm honestly about to edit this video and just chill the rest of today. It's a Friday. Not really trying to leave the house or anything. I just want to chill. I'm tired. I also have an itis. Okay, I just ate that pizza. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, y'all.